I am back with my new video. Today we are going to uh, discuss on the data grid view control available in Visual Studio. We know that the data grid view is a control that will display the data in a table format. So it will provide as a user interface for data datasets. So the data grid view control displays data by making a connection between that C sharp and the SQL server. It will be, I think it is the best useful and flexible control in the Windows Form application. Okay, We can be able to display either one table or we can also display some relationship between a combination of tables or something like that. So it will be very helpful for us. Let's start working with that. So we are going to develop a simple Windows Form application first. I am going to create a new project here. I'm just selecting the Windows Form app from the list and I'm clicking on next. I will name it as an employee sample. It is just an, a simple application because it's uh, displaying employee details. That's why I'm giving that employee sample name. Then I will click create. Then the Windows Form is ready over here. The project is ready. Now we are going to input some controls to it it's simple control so we are using very simple controls for that so first of all I'm giving a label I'm renaming that text to employee details ok then I will display it over here and I will change some properties here LBL header I will also change some uh, text properties over here. Okay, then I will just okay. Now I am going to insert our tool that is what is data grid view. We have to drag and drop or we just type here and I will drag and drop from here. So this is the data grid view which is available in the toolbox and we have dragged it. So here we have to do one thing is to fetch the data from the data for the data grid view control in our visual studio we have to create a table we have to create a table so we are going to SQL server for creating a table and uh, after that we will get back to this visual studio and ju uh, just for creating a sample task okay so I am just creating a table there and I will uh, display that data into here Okay, then I will create actually I have two databases here I think I will create new one new one okay new database it's nothing but EMP sample so that's my database name Yes, it's ready now. Then I will create a table. It like first one will be employee name. 
sorry em, emp number it will be numeric then employee name and work here job then hire date which means join date and salary that's it okay Okay, now I am going to save uh, save this table. So the table name will be EMP. Okay. EMP. So the table is now available over here. Yes, it is available. Now there is no values available over here, so we are going to insert some values to that. So I will add, I am adding some values. Okay, now I am executing this thing. Then, yes, it is done. So, my data is updated. Then, what I have to do is now I have created one table over here, which is our database name is EMP sample. Then, I am going to Visual Studio now. I have to select the data source now. Okay. So we are inserting that uh, we have already inserted some data to our data table uh, our table then I, uh, we are going to connect this visual studio to the sql server so we are uh, selecting that uh, data source over here okay you will click on that choose data voice options and uh, there is an additional option add project data source is available here so we have to click on that then we have to uh, choose the data database or your data source type we have to select it as the database then click on the next button and uh, click on that data set also okay so now we are going to connect our application here now so we are clicking on that new connection and we are going to find it out so we have to set our server name here so I will go for that blueberry right here now that's my uh, server name so it will list that databases available here so here the databases are available then I will select this EMP sample over here and uh, I will click OK. So this is a database I am going to use. Okay. Then I have to click OK. It is connected and click on Next. We can select this connection string as well. So clicking on Next and uh, the data types will be available here. So we have to open these tables over here and uh, we will select that 
uh, table employee because that is the table we are uh, we are looking for okay then click on just ticking on this and uh, we are clicking that uh, finish button so it will load the data from the database and uh, uh, that is which will be displayed uh, like that so the fields are always available here right employee name uh, mp name and job uh, head rate and salary all things are available here so uh, the first the linking part is completed so this will be the database that will be or this will be the form that we can uh, see before uh, running the application then uh, we are going to build that application and uh, we are going to run that application so we will look uh, what will be the difference when we will check how it will work okay so we are going to build the application here and clicking start button so it will build the application and uh, it will load that data from the database and all thing so that it, the output will must be uh, displayed on that okay once the building is done then the data will be or the application will be displayed here our output is available here we can check that this is the uh, data which we have entered in that database this is a table detail so all things are available here we can use whatever we want because the data source is set here and we can uh, customize the data available here so uh, take a look that all things are available here for the data from the databases can be seen here employee number and uh, name and all things is available here so that's why that this is how we can uh, use this data grid view in uh, visual studio i hope you understand well thank you thank you for watching my video i am stopping this application okay thank you